It was awful. It was one of the worst things I'd ever seen. People were out, dazed, wandering around. Buildings were just totally demolished. It was really a traumatic experience. For Rory Groves, it started like any other day. But little did he know that it would change his life forever. Well, I'd come home from work and I booted up my software and I noticed some storms uh, just north of the Twin Cities that looked like they had the potential to turn tornadic. Thought it'd be a good chance to field test the software and got in the car and went after them. Rory was a storm chaser. Back in 2001, he combined his talents in computer programming with his interest in weather to produce the first ever navigation software for storm chasers. The idea was to combine radar and satellite with GPS technology uh, and overlay that on roadmaps to help storm chasers track and ideally see a tornado as it touched down. On that fateful day in June 2001, Rory decided to chase the thunderstorms, an opportunity to field test his still unfinished software. So then what happened? I tracked the storms north of the cities and I ended up arriving in Siren just minutes after the tornado touched down. That's Siren, Wisconsin, a tiny community of 900 residents which was devastated by an F3 tornado that evening. In all, three people died, a dozen more were injured, and hundreds of structures were destroyed. The damage was so intense that it could even be seen on satellite photos the next day. But there is more to this story. The sirens, the tornado sirens, never went off. In an ironic but tragic twist, the tornado sirens in Siren, Wisconsin were not working that night. They had been knocked out by a previous storm several weeks prior and had not yet been repaired. Here I had come from 100 miles away, over two hours, uh, to arrive within minutes of a tornado touching down. And in this town, there were residents who, some of them at least, may have had no warning at all. And that was the day that I realized that this software shouldn't be just for storm chasers. That was the day when Rory's hobby became a mission. If this software could be used to accurately predict where tornadoes would strike, then it could certainly be used by ordinary people to help protect themselves and their families. Eight months later, the original version of what would become Weather Defender was released. And ever since, Rory's company has been serving residential customers in disaster-prone areas known as Tornado Alley. Rory also became an active promoter of weather safety in his community, teaching at public workshops and helping private organizations plan for weather emergencies. Our mission is to save lives, plain and simple. That's why we exist. When it comes to severe weather, you can't assume that someone else is looking out for you. You need to know for yourself when it's your family, you need to be prepared. And I sincerely believe that Weather Defender can help protect you and your family from severe weather. That's why we made it. <laughs>